To start this course, you need to sign up for Figma. That's the first thing you need to do. So in this video, you'll start by signing up if you haven't already. Then you'll take a tour of the workspace and just get an idea of what's going on in Figma. If you've already signed up, make sure you're on the Figma site, you're signed in, and you can just skip ahead to the workspace part of this video. Okay, so I've got the Figma website open here, figma.com. And the interesting thing about Figma is that it's actually done through the website. So you're actually doing it online. You're creating and working and collaborating online. There is a desktop version of Figma that you can download. I'm going to be using the web version. But I just wanted to mention that, that you could download the, uh, the desktop version. If you look here, you're going to see we have features. If you want to, you can go to pricing right now. Figma is free for individuals, which is cool. If you're working with a team, you're going to see there's a, a series of team packages, if you want to call them that. We have a starter team, two editors, three projects, 30-day history. You can do that if you want to, create an account for that. And when you go in and you start working, I would suggest you just don't jump into a team right away. If you want to, go for it. But just try it out as an individual. And as soon as you get to some of the team features, it's going to say, oh, you need to upgrade. So it'll prompt you at that time. You can go to the starter team. You can go to professional team, which you can see you guys can figure it out in the enterprise version. So there's also a lot of stuff in here. But if you go to, you can sign up. If you click on sign up, create a login. I'm going to go to sign in here and just sign in. And there we go. I'm going to update the password or save it for me. Now, when you get in here, you're not going to see a lot of stuff that I have, obviously, because you haven't been in here yet. But just a quick overview of the workspace. You're going to see on the left side over here, we have this little hamburger menu. This is just a menu of options here where you can create a new file to start, import files. Here's where you can get the desktop app. This is where you can work locally. Now, you have to connect to the Internet to work with the projects, at least before you start working on them. So it, it can be a little bit of a pain. It, it, it's a good idea if you want to work locally, okay? There's help and a bunch of stuff out here, and there's your settings for your account. Now, on the left here, you're actually going to see that we can search through our projects and through our files, but we will see a recent a drafts once you get going and a deleted files if you've deleted anything. So this is where our files are going to live. This is where our different things. I'm not going to call them projects because they're not necessarily called projects. Down here, you may or may not see this, but we can actually create teams. Now, if you might just see new team, you're not going to see this. But if you create a new team, you can add what are called projects to the team. You can share stuff with other team members. You can invite team members. And there's just this is where it all lives. This is where you can see it all. So we've got the files we're working with out here. These are the different things we're going to create. Like there's my app right there. If we want to create a new file, there's new file. If you want to import from Sketch, for instance, you can do that there. On the right, you're going to see that we actually have notifications. If there's any comments or anything like that, you can see it. And down here in the question mark, you can actually go in and check out tutorials and help. Help page is actually well, somewhat helpful. But as soon as you start getting in here, once you start working, you're going to notice that with the files, when I double click on a file, if you have any out here, you can do that. If not, just watch for a second. Once you open a file, it's going to take a second because it's loading it. You can then see the full interface out here show up. And this is what we're going to start to work with in just a little bit. I'm going to go back over. If you did open up a file, you can go back over by clicking the search menu or the menu up here and click back to files. So now that you're signed up and you're signed in on the website, you're all ready to start creating. So you'll begin by creating your very first Figma file. I wanted to include a quick section on enabling local fonts. Otherwise, if you go to work with fonts, you won't have a large selection. You also, if you import things like sketch files, the text may not work. It may not look right. So in Figma, when you're on figma.com on the website, you're already logged in. Come to the upper left corner here where the menu is and come to account settings. In here, you're going to see a lot of things we can do including things like working with the API, which you can expand, Figma, do all kinds of things, connected apps, etc. Down here, you're going to see that we have local fonts are currently not enabled by default. So click on Download Installer to enable the local fonts. It's going to download this little, depending on your operating system, it's going to download a little file. And what you're going to do is you're going to essentially open that up and install it. Now, if you want to learn a little bit more about what we're doing, you can click Learn More. I can see that I've got the package right there. I'm just going to click on that. Now, yours might be different if you're on a different operating system. 
but I'll click continue. Go ahead and install that. Make sure it's installing. I'll put in my password. And once it finishes here, I'll say close. Move to trash. I don't need the installer anymore. And you'll see now that local fonts are enabled. I have this many available in Figma. Otherwise, you'll be working with fewer fonts. So that's something I wanted to make sure that we did before we jumped in here. Now you can come back to recent and see all the files. Yours are going to look different, don't worry. But the next step we're going to take here is we're going to create our first file. The first thing we want to do now that we've got the font set up is we want to create our first file. This is going to be our first design or app or web or whatever we're creating in here. So as long as you're on the figman.com website and you're logged in, if you look in the upper left here, you're going to see that we have a plus, which means new file. Now you're going to find this in a lot of places. You're going to see over here in the menu, you'll see new file, a lot of places to get this done. But go ahead and click on the plus, and all it's going to do is it's going to create a brand new file that doesn't have a lot going on, okay? It's a little weird actually, but you'll see the full workspace out here, and you'll see we have our toolbar up here. You can see all the different tools. We have over on the left, this is actually layers currently and pages. We can do pages in here. Down here, you'll actually see we can work with components. These are similar to symbols and the reusable content, like a button you want to use 16 times or a header or a footer. And then we also have shared team libraries, which is a professional team feature. You can see right there, we need to upgrade if we wanted to do that. Out in the middle is our design area. This is our canvas. And you can see I actually have rulers showing. You might or might not show those right now. If you come under the menu in the upper left corner here, you'll see that we have all of our commands now. These are all our menus. If you come under view, you can see rulers right there. If you don't see them, go ahead and turn them on right now by choosing it. And you'll also see the keyboard commands to the right there. Now to the far right, you'll see the properties. These are all the properties for everything you're working on. Right now, this is for the canvas. So if you want to, you can go in and set the color of the canvas. You can make it this color, you can do that, whatever you want to do. I'm just going to leave it as is or something like that. And there's a lot of other options under here. If you want to see a pixel preview at 1x or 2x or show the grid, if you zoom in far enough, you can actually see it. It's a little grid of things and export options. You also have prototype. This is how we set up the prototyping, how we can work with it. And code, if you want to see code for the content or the object you have selected, for instance. I'll click back on design. And you'll see up here we have who's working on it. This is, if you have multiple people and you shared this, you can actually see them all up here and see their cursors out here usually. You can share it with other people. You can also come right here and present it, which is kind of a quick way to just see what it looks like in a blank browser window. Over here, you can see the settings we have. These are great, showing, turning things on and off, viewing, zooming if you want to, and export. Now I wanna change the name of this. So if you come up here, you're gonna see we have, this is now a draft and it's untitled. If you click on the arrow to the right, you're going to see we can do things like duplicate it, move it, do all kinds of things here. I'm going to double click or click on untitled right there. And let's change it to my travel whoops, app. And then press enter return. And there we go. So we now have our file created. We've named it if we want to. And now let's go take a look at it. So if you come back to the upper left corner here and click on the menu, go back to the files. You should actually see it in there, My Travel App. Now, the other thing we can do too is if you come to Recent right here, you should also see it here, My Travel App, because it's something that we are about to work on and we're going to start. Now, when it comes to the files you create, you're going to see it's going to tell you like when it was created or updated. Over here on the right, you can see a series of three dots there. If you click on those, you can do things like open it, new tab, share it with people, name it, duplicate it, delete it, remove from Recent. So there's a lot of things we can do here. Double click on it to open it up and it should open it back up here. Now make sure that on the left over here, you actually see the layers in the lower left corner down there and you also see design. That way we can get started. 